Welcome to Hood Champion Boxing and Sports. In boxing, you find a way to win or you find a way to lose. So how are you guys doing? As far as me, I am field. Like Yusick, right? But I tell you what, once Deontay Wilder knocks his ass out, he will not feel. He will not feel anything. He will go to sleep and sleep for a long time. So he don't have to worry about feeling nothing anymore. Because this man here is barking up the wrong tree. Now we all know styles make fights, right? A lot of people, like this, this is what kills me with the bandwagonists. Everybody wants to jump on the bandwagon. Yusek is a great fighter. Deontay Wilder is not Anthony Joshua. And Anthony Joshua is a great fighter. He may have more technical skill, more technical ability, okay? But people, how can you not give Deontay Wilder a chance to put Mr. I Am Phil to sleep? See, that's what's frustrating me. Now, what, I'm, what, I, what I will say is if Deontay Wilder doesn't have his stamina together, Deontay Wilder can get stopped. Because Yusick, it, it, does this man swim for five hours? Does this man walk around for hours on his hands? Yusick is a different animal. But Deontay Wilder is a different animal too. Yusik has the stamina, he has the IQ, he has the awareness. Deontay Wilder has something that you just can't prepare for. That power, man. Talk, read an article today. Guys are talking about, um, no, shit. I read an article, and then Eddie Hearn, right? Now, we all know Eddie Hearn doesn't want to give anybody credit. Oh, my God. It's like pulling teeth to get that man to say something. But if you let him talk about Joshua... Joshua, just look at the resume, look at the profile. You know, he fought this person, that person, who else? You know, he, he's he been talking about AJ for so long that it just, you know, smoothly rolls off of his tongue. Everything about uh, Anthony Joshua. And he's not lying, you know, but God, he just doesn't want to give credit, oh boy, to anyone else. But he was saying that Yusick was able to take Anthony Joshua's biggest shots. As a result, Deontay Wilder can't hurt Yusick. Yo, come on, man. Anthony Joshua did catch Yusick with a couple shots. But in the second fight, he hurt Yusick more in the first fight. But in the second fight, Joshua didn't really commit to any of his shots. There were a lot of arm punches. Even when he was thrown to the body, he wasn't committing the way he, he he needed to. Like he didn't really know how to throw uh, body shots because he's so big and muscular. But Deontay Wilder isn't going to be sitting there. Look, look, man, Deontay Wilder? Now, we got to see how he looks against Hellenius. But what is it, 60 seconds, man? You know, however many seconds, right, are in that fight. That's how... That's how perfect Yusik has to be. For however many seconds are in that fight. It's 180 across 12. It's a lot of damn seconds. Can, can Yusik be perfect for 12 rounds against Deontay Wilder? Tyson Fury was damn near perfect in that first fight. But at some point, Deontay Wilder catches you. And Tyson Fury is much taller, much longer, and Wilder still caught up to him. In the second fight, in the first round, Deontay Wilder hit him with a big shot. Tyson Fury said that shit shook, it, shook his boots, rattled his stones. That's how hard Deontay Wilder hit him, but he took it. And in the third fight, we all saw what happened. Deontay Wilder just couldn't stand up to what Tyson Fury was dishing up. But Deontay Wilder was catching up to him. And then even in the later rounds, Deontay Wilder was hurting Tyson Fury. So, to come now and say that Alexander Yusik is just going to come in there and within the first six rounds, he's going to knock Wilder out. You know what's going to happen? Yusik's going to come in there, he's going to catch him, he's going to be floating like a butterfly, stinging like a bee, and Wilder's going to get a shot off. 
the 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 only the, my only concern with Wilder is with this trainer Malik Scott and having him you know trying to box and trying to be damn Pernell Whitaker you know like Jonte Wilder is not Pernell Whitaker like let a lion be a lion why you want to tame a lion man and turn him to a pussy cat let a lion be a lion and that's what you got in Deontay Wilder let him be vicious he can keep it simple okay you throw working a little hook and stuff like that to catch you know the opponents off guard you know this it's good to evolve your game but don't come down now and, you know, break him down to ground zero and try to, you know, rebuild him. Like, that's, what are we doing here? He's had so much success off of just, you know, fundamentals. Let, let him let him come in there and continue to be successful. Because Yusuke gets tired too. Yeah, he'll get a second win. But Yusuke has a bad habit sometimes of bringing his hands down. Now, with Deontay Water, I don't know how Yusuke's going to train to, Avoid that shot, but Wilder is going to get to him. And and and, and one reason Usyk had a whole lot of success against AJ. I watched that fight again, the second one. Usyk had his right foot outside of AJ's left foot, almost the whole fight. AJ was right there in, in the line of fire. You know, he, that's what was happening. Usyk was making sure to keep his right foot on the outside, and you know. Robert Garcia and them weren't even telling AJ that. You know, I, I, I'm sure, you know, when you're there and you're watching so many things, but that's like one-on-one -on -one stuff. I would have been shouting that to him. You know, it's a foot fight. He got to win the foot fight, and he didn't. When Deontay Wilder is going to come in there, man, I'm telling you, it's not going to take long. I honestly don't think so. He's going to, at some point, it may not be that first round, because he'll be feeling him out, and Usyk is all herky-jerky with up jabs and, coming in, not even throwing punches, just like mentally stressing you out. But look at Luis Ortiz. Yeah, Luis, this Luis Ortiz may be a little bit slower than what he was. Southpaw, that Luis Ortiz that fought Wilder, he was winning. I think he was up on like, you know, the first, I don't know, was it eight rounds in one fight or something? But well, however many rounds that it went, Luis Ortiz was up. For that split second, he got hit with that Alabama missile, that Tuscaloosa warhead, and it was over. I just can't see any fighter going the whole, look, no fighter's ever done it. Gone the whole fight without getting touched by Walter. So how is Yusick gonna do that? Leave him alone, Deontay Walter said something about drinking watermelon juice. Some shit out there in Alabama. And maybe that's what it is because it gets hot out there in the South. Everybody I know from the South, man, they like watermelon, they like Kool-Aid, and the people from Alabama love Deontay Water. And and maybe it is that damn watermelon juice that he's drinking or, or whatever the hell he's eating. I don't think he's a vegan, but vegan, but Deontay Water's got the power. Now, some people are saying Deontay Water's a super small Lighten the ass heavyweight. This is what people are saying. Now, you know, you got to give this man credit. He's a super small, light in the ass heavyweight. Man, Deontay Wilder plans to come into the fight with Helene. Helene is about 224 pounds. Yeah, he lost some weight. Yeah, he's, he was lifting those weights before, but he, he lost some weight, about 211 pounds, but he plans to be about 224. So Deontay Wilder is definitely not a, a small man, you know. But since when has his, his size mattered in a fight? Except when Tyson Fury put all his weight on him. Since when has that mattered? So we're going to come now and start talking about, oh, well, he's light in the ass. And as a result, we don't give him a chance against Usyk? Man, come on, man. He was like 211, 212 when he fought Fury in that first fight, wasn't he? And he was light, I think, when he went in and clipped Brazil. So, so don't tell me that Usyk, who's been hurt as a cruiserweight, if Wilder touches him, that he can't hurt him? I'm going to go ahead and say, no, nah, he probably won't hurt him if he hits him. He'll kill him. So if Usyk and Wilder fight, I got Wilder. I'm picking Wilder in that fight. I don't care how good Usyk is. I don't care how much walking on his hands like a goddamn monkey he does and swimming for five hours and shit like an otter. 
I don't care. Otter Xander Yusik. That's what I'm going to start calling him because he's always. Man, spent five hours. He's a goddamn Otter. So Otter, Otter Xander Yusik is not going to beat Deontay Wilder. Okay? And I like Yusik. Yusik's phenomenal. I just, I, I, you know, when you hit like that, man, I had a friend in high school. He had that kind of Deontay Wilder like power, man. I seen him. I put it to you this way, right? True story. True story, right? We were at a. Uh, we were in junior high school. I think we were in ninth grade. We just finished junior high, we were in ninth grade. We went to the junior high school to watch it. Uh, it was a thing, a track, track meet. But we went out there, his sister was running track. We were all out there, and his parents were coming to get us. So while we were out there hanging out, there was, a, this, there was this guy who he got into it with him. Something about his sister, right? Something about his sister, right? And the, the, the guy came up to the school and my boy had some words with him. But anyway, um, we were out there at the, at the sitting in the bleachers. My boy, he had wandered off somewhere. But the kid came back with his uncle or something. They tried to jump my boy. So while we're sitting there, his, he comes over. And he's pissed. And at the same time, his dad pulls up in a van. And he's telling us what's going on. But he's, like, he's, he's already lost it. So his dad's, his dad's like shouting in the van, y'all, come on. And so my brother, myself, and my boy jump in the van with his dad, right? And his dad is flying out. Now, this is in, a, in, a, in an area where there's a lot of stuff that was happening. So while we're driving down the street, we're looking for him. It's his dad driving in the van. We're looking for him. We see the guy walking. My boy's like, that's him. His dad pulls over on the side of the road. The kid takes him to an apartment complex. His dad's like, go get him. Because they had, they had jumped. They had, they had snuck him and bust his lip. And um, we all got out chasing after this dude, right? My boy, he was on some Carl Lewis type shit. Like he talking about Sonic. The hedgehog speed. He caught up to that dude, man. He hit that guy, man. The guy tried to run up the stairs. He caught him halfway up the stairs. He hit that guy. That joker just fell over. And he was trying to move, and he hit him again. His body went limp. And he hit him uh, He hit him another time. Like, he would have killed him. The guy was, I mean, gone. And he, he was laying up uh, next to this door. And the lady, there was a lady inside the apartment. She heard a commotion. And when she opened the door, the guy just kind of fell in. And she was screaming because she saw, all the, you know, she saw three of us there. My brother and I didn't even do anything. We didn't have to. And um, the guy was coming to and he was saying, I want my mama, I want my mama. That's how hard he got hit and how messed up he was. And I remember we went back in the car and we left. And uh, long story short, when you have the kind of power where you can hit somebody and knock them out, and then they're out and then you hit them a few more times, and when they do finally start coming to, they start they start asking for their mama, hey, you got some damn power. And then after that, you know, he realized that he hit hard and then he kind of took on the wrong attitude. And we were all still cool, but after that was always a problem because, you know, he... You know, one shot, no matter how big you were, one shot, bam, he'd get you out of there. And, you know, he just had, his hands were just heavy, just like Deontay Walker. And um, so when you have that kind of power, it doesn't, it doesn't matter how much you weigh. People need to understand that. That, that power that Deontay Walker has, like my boy had, right, that had nothing to do with, and, and, and we were like 160 pounds, but just... You can't, you're just born with that. You know, like, you just can't teach that. You can teach people how to get weight behind their punches, but you can't, you can't teach someone to just have naturally heavy hands. You just can't teach that. And Deontay Wilder has that. And for me, knowing what a person with hands like that can do to you and seeing Deontay Wilder having those hands like that, you see, it's just a matter of time before he touches them. It won't take much, I'm telling you. So y'all need to give Deontay Wilder some credit, man. I think Mr. Watermelon Juice over there, 
That's what he said he likes to drink. I think Deontay Wilder going to knock that, knock Usyk out. I'm going with Deontay Wilder, man. And you know what's so cool about it is Eddie Hearn, they had to put him on a suicide watch because Joshua's shoes, right? Joshua basically stepped out of his shoes and his shoes are empty. That's the unified champion with all those belts. Usyk stepped into those shoes. Now Usyk wants to go out there and mess with the Tuscaloosa, the Tuscaloosa bad boy. Usyk's about to get obliterated if Water gets past Hellenius. So then Usyk's going to step out of those shoes and Water's going to step in those shoes that AJ was wearing as a unified champion. That is hilarious. And I'm telling you what's going to happen. It is. I really feel it's going to happen, man. And when it does, I'm going to be so happy for Deontay Wilder. And the reason for that, for those of you who are watching this, I'm like, oh, you're biased. No, I, I'm rooting. I root for all boxers, but especially him and especially Ortiz because of the, the kids. The kids, the kids, the kids, and the reason why this man is out here doing this. You know, when you fight for country, that's good. You know, whatever your reason is to fight, but, you know, when this, the whole kid thing gets me, right? So that's why I root for this man so much. But uh, I do feel that that's stylistically a horrible matchup for Usyk. And I just think he just can't avoid Deontay Wilder for 12 rounds. I just don't think so. He's going to have to come in and try to jump on him and be clever and use angles and outbox him and frustrate him and then eventually may, maybe try to get the stoppage. But that's easier said than done. But uh, stamina is going to be key here. So... Again, when you ask Usyk how he's feeling, he says, I am feel. Well, he won't be feeling anything after uh, Deontay Wilder lands that big bazooka right hand on his ass. He's going to go down faster than a plate of Alabama barbecue. And that's how I see it. That being said, y'all keep cool. I appreciate the support. Please subscribe. Deontay Wilder's about to become unified champion. Pay attention. I give it a year. Next summer, Deontay Wilder, they're going to be setting, they're going to put another statue up of him in uh Alabama, man. Deontay Wilder's out here about to make history. But that being said, y'all keep cool and I'm in the breeze.